Welcome to GTV. Today I will be showing you how to wire up an ABB ACS 355 for standard macro. It is strongly recommended that the wiring of your drive should be done with an experienced technician to prevent any damage to the unit or operator. The drive and wire should not be live during the installation process and should be removed from any power source. I will start by showing where the input power will be plugged in. This is indicated by the U1, V1, and W1. The label mains is also printed here. For demonstration purposes, I will use a single phase power source. The motor would be connected to the right side of the drive where U2, V2, and W2 are. The word motor should also be printed underneath. Next, I will remove the front cover here to reveal a set of input-output terminals also known as IOs. If my intention is to run the drive with only local operation on the keypad, then I will not need to use these IOs and could be ready to go. Since my intention is to run my drive in remote operation from an external terminal, I will take a closer look at these terminals. If I am using a shielded signal cable, I will use the screen to input 1. For inputs 2, 3, and 4, I will install my potentiometer. The wiper will connect to input 2. The common will connect to input 3, and the third wire will connect to input 4. During testing, the potentiometer might have a reverse reference. If this is the case, switch the wires on input 3 and 4. Inputs 5 and 6 are not in the default, but allow for a second analog input signal. Input 7 and 8 are for an output display. This provides a 0 to 20 milliamp output signal to indicate the output frequency value. Input 9 provides a 24 volt DC auxiliary voltage output to the digital inputs from 12 to 16. I can use either a PLC to make these connections or I can connect input 9 to a contact block on one of my switches and jumper the rest together. For demonstration purposes, I have already jumped the contact blocks together and I can now wire this to input 9. In order for any of my digital inputs to work, I will first need to jumper inputs 10 and 11 together. Now I will take a maintain switch intended for my start stop switch and connect it to input 12 and the external terminal block. If I want to use a forward and reverse switch, then I will use another maintain switch and connect this one to input 13 and to the terminal block. For inputs 14 and 15, I can connect one or both of them to switches for a constant speed reference that is defined in the drive parameters of 1202, 1203, and 1204. I can set up to three different set speeds with one active when the switch on input 14 is actuated. One active when the switch on input 15 is actuated and the last one active when both switches on inputs 14 and 15 are active. Input 16 is tied to parameter 2205 and 2206 for a change in acceleration and deceleration. This can also be wired to a switch from the terminal block. When actuated, the ramp time for acceleration and deceleration will change accordingly. Inputs 17 through 19 are the relay output. Input 17 is the relay common and input 18 is normally closed as input 19 is normally open. The inputs beneath these ones act in the same way with inputs 20 to 22 being a digital output. I can now power on the drive and change the keypad to remote operation. 
With my external terminal here, I can control the drive. ABB's ACS 355 AC drives, along with thousands of other products and services, are available at Galco.com.